The chair of the Nebraska Legislature's Appropriation Committee says it's very difficult to predict the fiscal impacts of coronavirus and related federal stimulus package on the state budget, and lawmakers may need to tighten spending for perhaps the next three years. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me in our top story. During a webinar hosted by the Platte Institute, Senator John Stinner said a lot of the fiscal impacts will depend on the length and depth of the economic downturn caused by the virus outbreak and whether federal money can be used to address revenue reduction. Stinner said a large bump in the state's rainy day fund, a 3% spending increase, and $30 million in discretionary funds in the current budget proposal are really no longer reflective of where the state stands today due to the pandemic. And in this situation, those discretionaries would go away. But if we don't readjust the budget, if we don't readjust what the revenue per, uh, forecast is going into next year, then we'll have that situation where we'll have a two budget year where we're adjusting the current year and uh, then going into the next biennium trying to do a, a budget for the next biennium. So I'd like to avoid that as all possible. The Gehring lawmaker says he's waiting to see if and how federal stimulus money can be used to help local governments expected to lose a chunk of income due to lower sales tax revenues. He would not support raising taxes to fill any revenue shortfalls, saying doing so in a recessionary environment would burden people with more taxes when they're just trying to survive economically. Well, Western Nebraska regional airport officials have sent a letter to the U.S. Department of Transportation supporting SkyWest Airlines' request to temporarily reduce service for 90 days to one flight per day out of Scotts Bluff. The letter says due to the massive passenger reduction suffered under the COVID-19 pandemic, their traffic has declined to very minimal levels. Airport Board Chair Bob Unziger told KNB News the airport is 100% behind SkyWest and the request. They've been flying several flights uh, with only one or two people on them, you know, and you know that isn't economically feasible. so. It's nothing they did. This pandemic thing has got everybody spooked, I think. The letter also asked the DOT to pay SkyWest 100% of the full subsidy they would have received for operating a full schedule, which they say will help the airline by partially compensating for the lost passenger revenue now missing from flights. And Governor Pete Ricketts says Nebraska residents should not expect the state to end its social distancing restrictions all at one time and some of the rules will be relaxed gradually to prevent another surge in coronavirus cases. Rickett says he still hopes to lift some restrictions after the end of the month, but he plans to take a cautious approach so that public health officials have time to see whether it's causing cases to spike. Well, so for example, right now we're at a 10-person rule. No gatherings larger than 10-person. So maybe as we start relaxing this, we might relax that to something like 20 people or 25 people and gradually take that number up over time as we saw that we could take that number up and we didn't see that the number of cases were spiking because of that. So it'd be something along those sort of lines. He says a slow rollout of reopening dining areas and restaurants and bars is another possibility as well. Well, coming up after the break, sunny skies today and warm temperatures tomorrow, but then things will change in a hurry for Easter weekend. The lawyers got your full forecast right after this local lending. We're here for you from start to finish. Keeping money in our economy. Supporting local jobs. Giving back to our community. Investing in entrepreneurship. Making our quiet towns a destination. At Platte Valley Bank, we support local because we are local. At Elite Physical Therapy, we provide preventative and rehabilitative treatments that maximize function and promote well-being for patients of all ages. With two locations in Scottsbluff and Gearing, we offer the convenience of you choosing your location with the same great services no matter where you go. 
stop into one of our locations today in Scott's Bluff at 214 West 27th Street or in Gearing at 10th and M Street and see what Elite Physical Therapy can do for you. Treatment you need and care you deserve. This is KNEB.TV weather from the KNEB Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. Going to be dealing with a very nice evening tonight. Clear skies all across the board. Temps fall down into the 30s in the low 50s by the time you're done with dinner, so not too bad. Uh, not a bad evening to get out for a walk as winds are going to stay pretty light out there. And tomorrow is dandy. We have a beautiful Good Friday. We may have to rename it to Beautiful Friday for tomorrow. It is going to be fantastic. Rain develops then by Saturday afternoon. That's the end of the good news. It's going to turn to snow by Saturday evening, and we are looking at sharply colder temps for Easter. Some indications are we may not get out of the 20s for Easter Sunday. Our high going to be probably right after midnight and temps falling through the day on Easter Sunday. Some low temperatures not out of the single digits uh, or into the single digits, not out of the question as we get Sunday night and Monday night. That after yesterday at 61, our low right on the map, at, or right on the dot there at 30 degrees. So about normal for this time of year. Notice our record low seven yesterday. Our record low today is 11 degrees. So those record lows are uh, in jeopardy as we go Sunday night and Monday night as well. Nothing in the rain gauge. We'll add some moisture to that. I can almost guarantee you of that. Taking a look at where we've been, again, it's this time of year in Nebraska where we can have super high swings uh, to super low swings, depending on where we're going. We have went from 73 to 26, back to 80 over the course of seven days. And uh, yesterday, about normal, about normal again today. And tomorrow looks like it is going to be a very nice day. 56 right now here and in McCook. It's 58 in Hayes. A little cooler air just off to our north and east. 46 in Valentine, 36 right now up in Watertown. Uh, again, 56 here in Ogallala, also in Oshkosh, 49 in Cheyenne, 48 right now in Lusk. Winds 10 to 15, especially off to the east and into portions of the Sand Hills. Future cast is going to be pretty boring uh, for tonight and really for most of the day tomorrow. We're going to have clear skies overnight. Low temperatures are going to fall off into the uh, 30s, a couple of upper 20s, not out of the question in a few locations, especially off to the north and east. We'll be near 30 for most of us here across uh, the western portions of Nebraska and southeastern portions of Wyoming. Now tomorrow we're going to start the day sunny. We'll bring in a few late day clouds. Can't rule out an isolated shower or a thunderstorm, as you can see, scattered around. That is about it though. Otherwise, we're going to be dealing with uh, mainly sunny skies tomorrow. The main weather system certainly going to hold off till Saturday afternoon and into Sunday. Uh, 74 tomorrow for a high in Ogallala and Oshkosh and in Scotts Bluff, 73 in Torrington, 70 in Valentine. Just a beautiful Friday out there. Winds are going to be in check tomorrow as well. Probably only 10 to 15 miles an hour. It's going to be a great day to get outside. Now as we go beyond, we'll take a look at our extended outlook. This is Saturday morning. We start to see a few showers. Now as we go through midday Saturday and into early Saturday afternoon, those showers work their way in uh, to the region. Notice the showers start and by Saturday afternoon we already have rain and snow mixed and maybe all snow uh, up around Shadron. It's not going to take long along that front as that cold front's going to push through. Saturday overnight any rain that we have will turn to all snow and it will stay snow into the early hours of Sunday morning. Sunday uh, midday we're still uh, late Sunday morning, still have the snow on going across most of the state, as you can see. And then as we push off to Saturday or Sunday afternoon, Easter Sunday, the storm quickly departs and it looks like it is going to be out of here by Sunday evening. Now snowfall totals right now, two different forecast models that we use. This is the European model showing a pretty good banding of some snow. I think everybody's going to get some snow out of this, probably enough that it will accumulate on the ground. These are light to moderate snow amounts out of both the European and the GFS model, and they're both pretty consistent, showing areas up around the, uh, wild, or the uh, Wildcat Hills here to the south and also uh, up to the north uh, along the uh, higher terrain there. Uh, those areas both could be seeing some uh, enhanced snowfall totals 
more geographically based uh, than uh, necessarily positionally based. So look for uh, some higher snow totals to the north and to the south with lesser amounts in the valley, but we still are going to be looking at accumulating snow and sharply, sharply colder temps. All clear and quiet tonight, 31 for a low tomorrow, mainly sunny, can't rule out a sprinkle in the afternoon or a very isolated weak thunder shower tomorrow, but very nice, 74 degrees for Good Friday. It is going to be fantastic uh, and then equally terrible by Sunday. Saturday will start the day, not bad, maybe up to 62, but temps are going to crash. Notice those lows Saturday night go down to 20 degrees. Easter Sunday, maybe 30 for a high and uh, down to near 10 degrees for a low, both Sunday night and Monday. I think the snow will come to an end by Easter afternoon, but it's going to be breezy at times and uh, really not going to be very pleasant at all. Monday, we only rebound into the 30s and lows again Monday night down to near 10. Not much warmer for Friday May, or Tuesday. By Wednesday, Thursday, we start to bring maybe slightly milder temps into the region with uh, temps possibly getting closer to uh, the upper 40s. Uh, but there are some indications we may have another system arriving during that time as well. So not 100% confident on the end of those seven days, but fairly confident on sharply colder temps, wet conditions, and snow coming. A drastic change as we go through the latter half of the weekend. Calling all grass masters, fescue fanatics, and stewards of St. Augustine. To the springtime sprawlers, backyard scholars, and cultivators of the cul-de-sac. Whether you're a rookie or a pro, run with us. For all the green thumbers, newcomers, and toy picker-uppers, run with us on a John Deere mower. Because this is more than just grass. It's home. Nothing runs like a deer. Visit 21st Century Equipment in Alliance, Torrington, Scottsbluff, and Bridgeport, or visit 21stCenturyEquipment.com. Now more than ever, you need an affordable unlimited plan that fits your family budget. That's why Vieira Wireless is introducing our better unlimited plan. It's our best priced unlimited plan ever, starting as low as $30 a month for four lines of unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data. Want high-definition video with rollover high-speed hotspot data? Then choose our best or ultra unlimited plans, the best value plans in America for everyone. Vieira Wireless, are you ready for better? At TC and more in Scotts Bluff, we believe it's the little things that make your house a home. Start with home decor. Brighten up any room in your house with flags, wall decorations, and custom art pieces. Next, brighten up your wardrobe with clothing and accessories like jewelry and purses from the Myra Collection. And remember, seniors and military members receive an additional 10% discount. Visit our website, tcandmore.com, and like us on Facebook, TC and More, 1621 Broadway, beautiful downtown Scotts Bluff. Welcome back. Two deaths related to the coronavirus were reported to the Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services yesterday, and that brings the state's total death toll to 14. Lancaster County announced its first COVID-19 related death. That was a male in his 50s who was hospitalized. Madison County announced a second death in a positive case previously reported. The man in his 70s had multiple underlying health conditions. Nebraska's state case total has surpassed the 500 mark, and DHHS has the latest information on their data dashboard that provides daily updates to the state's COVID-19 case totals. Well, the West Nebraska Arts Center and the Fleesbach Family Foundation have announced the recipient of the 2020 Barbara Fleesbach Scholarship. Garing senior Sydney Willie has been awarded the $1,000 scholarship, which may be used at any college with an accredited arts department. Willie will attend WNCC in the fall, where she will study visual arts and psychology with the career goal of becoming an art therapist for hospitals and prisons. In a release, Willie says that she has a strong belief that art has healing abilities that can bring comfort to those in need of it. And the City of Alliance has announced that the Pillars for the Park project was selected to receive grant funding from the Nebraska Department of Economic Development Civic and Community Center Financing Fund. The $483,000 grant award will supplement the funds raised to restore the iconic pillars in Central Park that have a profound cultural value to the Alliance community. The construction phase and bid phase was approved by the Alliance City Council at their April 7th meeting, and the city continues to work closely with engineering firm Baker & Associates in order to move forward with the completion steps of the project. Well, straight ahead, we'll take a look at the latest from the world of sports. I'll have that in 90 seconds.
Exceptional care, right here at home. That's the mission of Morrill County Community Hospital. Morrill County Community Hospital is a 20-bed critical access hospital that owns and operates clinics throughout Bridgeport, including specialty outreach clinics and Morrill County Home Health Clinic, as well as Chimney Rock Medical Center, located in Bayard. Our dedicated team is committed to you and our community every time at Morrill County Community Hospital, Bridgeport, Nebraska. As farmers make plans to return to their fields for spring planting, we urge farmers to be alert to the dangers of working near overhead power lines. Electricity is one of the most overlooked, yet deadly hazards of working on a farm. Beware of increased height when loading and transporting equipment on trailers. Avoid raising the arms of planters or cultivators or raising truck beds near power lines. So let's take extra caution this spring planting season. This message brought to you by Roosevelt Public Power District, your touchstone energy partner, the power of human connections. Why do I have First National Bank's free checking? For all the things that could happen. Like the fact that they automatically forgive one overdraft fee every year, and they won't charge a fee if I accidentally overdraw my account. Up to $20. Best of all, if I use another bank's ATM, my bank won't charge me a fee. When things don't go as planned, it's nice to feel protected. Switch today. Now, sports from the First National Bank Sports Desk. First National Bank of North Platte, the bank to think of first. Taking a look at the latest today here from the First National Bank Sports Desk, and the Western Nebraska Community College women's basketball team had an outstanding season this past year, and it got even better after sophomore guard T.K. Morehouse garnered NGCAA First Team All-American honors this week. Morehouse, a 5'3 guard from Milwaukee, was one of the top scorers in the nation, averaging 21 points per game. Morehouse becomes the second straight WNCC Cougar to earn first team honors. Merle Wheel earned NJCAA first team honors last year. This is the fourth straight season a Cougar was on the All-American team. Morehouse said it is a privilege to be among other Cougar All-Americans. Well, head coach Chad Gibney said there is not enough adjectives to say about Morehouse's season and career at WNCC. Morehouse became the second leading scorer in school history, finishing with 1,118 points. Well, for some, it's been difficult having no professional sports to watch. And with the continued hiatus of live sports, KDB 960 AM and 100.3 FM, along with Westwood One, are proud to offer a series of rebroadcasts of exciting NFL postseason games, including some of the greatest Super Bowls ever played. Each game will feature play-by-play -play coverage as it originally aired, but will be edited to minimize interruptions. Additionally, games will feature interviews and additional perspectives from some of the players and coaches that were involved in the contest when available. These will begin this Sunday and every Sunday through May. We will feature one or two games each week beginning at noon. The games will air on KNB 960 AM and 100.3 FM. And sticking with the NFL, as it was confirmed this week that the NFL draft will be conducted in a virtual format with team personnel working from their homes. In a memo sent to the 32 teams and obtained by the Associated Press, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell outlined procedures for the April 23rd, 24th, and 25th draft dates. The guidelines include no group gatherings, and all team facilities have since been closed since March 26th, and Goodell has ordered them to remain shut indefinitely. Now, Husker defensive lineman Darian Daniels and cornerback Lamar Jackson have both landed on mock draft boards, with CBS Sports writer Ryan Wilson projecting Daniels to go in the early sixth round and Jackson a fringe pick that would likely go in the final round of the draft. That is the latest today from the First National Bank Sports Desk. I'll have your community calendar right after this on KNEB.TV News. Home buying is filled with decisions. Neighborhood, floor plan, fenced yard. Make one choice that's easy. Start with FNBO first. We'll guide you home. Home buying is filled with decisions. Square feet, fixer upper, room to grow. Make one choice that's easy. Start with FNBO first. We'll guide you home. 
Take your career to the next level with Chadron State College's online Master of Science in Organizational Management program, taught by experienced professors who care about your success. CSC offers three flexible options with its Master of Science degree, Human Services, Natural Resources, and Sports Management. With CSC's history as an education leader in the classroom and online, you'll have a solid foundation as you take your career to the next level. Chadron State College, real people, real results. Learn more today at csc.edu. When it comes to helping local folks with the loans and financial advice they need, we don't horse around. Our only goal is to help you and your family achieve your financial goals with the right loans and savings products. So if you want to bank with people that care about you and your financial needs, stop by or give us a call. First State Bank. We're big on you. Member FDIC. Online at fsbcentral.com. Well, let's take a look what's happening on today's community calendar. That's a look at today's community calendar brought to you by First State Bank, honoring those who give back. Nominate your community champion at fsbcentral.com. Start your spring right with compliments for you and your home. Compliments wants to help you get dressed for all your spring events. Whether you're the mother of the bride, at your son's graduation, or looking for a great dress for a special event, Compliments has got a look for you. While at Compliments, look for a new style or give it as a gift. With great new home decor, now is the perfect time to spruce up your home. Compliments for you and your home. 1708 Broadway, beautiful downtown Scotts Bluff. At Platte Valley Bank, we want you to plan for tomorrow Will you enjoy today. With our personalized trust and estate planning services, our trust services can help you do just that. When it comes to estate planning, you should seek professional help. And when you do, you should have confidence in the financial institution you choose to handle your trust. At Platte Valley Bank, we pride ourselves in keeping our trust operations local and serving our friends and neighbors. We offer a highly personalized, full line of personal trust and estate planning. Give us a call today and see how our trust services can help you. And finally tonight, a feel-good story from Scottsbluff County that's all about making a difference while showing community support.
Scotch Bluff Screen Printing is in full swing for their fundraiser for the Scotch Bluff Volunteer Center that also helps the community show that we're all dealing with this pandemic together. Earlier this week, owner Shane Wilson announced that as part of Volunteer Appreciation Month, he'd be selling Unity in Our Community t-shirts. On Wednesday, production began on the first batch of shirt orders, and Wilson says early response has been strong. The response is good. Um, you know, the shirt sales just started yesterday, and I think we sold just over 100 shirts yesterday. So we're very excited about that. Um, you know, obviously that's 500 bucks we've already raised, and so we hope for a lot more, you know, a lot more sales to help out as much as we can. His hope is these shirts are worn proudly throughout the community to show unity during these turbulent times. We get to create uniforms for teams to make them look like a team. We get to create, you know, uh, uniforms for businesses and make them all look like a team. And now we feel very proud that we're trying to make our community look like a team. And let's, let's fight together. Let's, you know, let's play together. Let's, let's st stand together as a team and help our community in a, in a way that's way more important than hitting a walk-off home run, in my opinion. It's, it's a matter of standing up, supporting the team, and that team is Western Nebraska. Wilson adds that he chose the Volunteer Center because Director Shanna Halstead is someone he's known for decades and is continually amazed at the work she does for the community through programs like Shopping for Seniors and Meals on Wheels. Yeah, all of the money um, that, that we're able to donate to them, obviously Shanna will use that to help fund and, and keep the programs going. Uh, the Meals on Wheels, which we as a company um, are helping to deliver now in a time when, when Shanna needs the volunteers because some of those volunteers that she normally counts on are quarantined. They're, you know, they're I get elderly people that are, are asked to, you know, to stay home for their own safety and so therefore we as a company are helping you know, deliver Meals on Wheels as well as Shopping for Seniors, which, which is a really neat program where literally her volunteers go shopping at co-op and then deliver those, deliver those groceries to the, to the people that can't get to the grocery store themselves. So it's, it's just a really neat thing what she does for the community. Scotch Plus Screen Printing will be taking orders until April 19th and then will coordinate pickup or shipping details with customers. In Scotch Bluff, Ryan Murphy, KNEB.TV News. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you here next time.